Question four. So what I always do here is I always write the whole thing out. Okay, just imagine I was going to expand everything. And don't really worry about working anything out for a second. Right, this is how I would expand the whole thing. Right, normally it asks you for the first sort of three or four terms. Whereas this one has asked you for a term a little bit further down. Okay, so I always do exactly what I'm doing here. Whatever happens, even if I get fractional powers, negative powers, right? Just do the same thing. I don't worry about anything else I'm trying to work out here. Now, which one's going to give me, ah, look, I'm off the coefficient of, of x to the power of 4. So really, I'm only actually interested in this line just here. So 7c4, so just pop that into your calculator, okay? That's going to give you 35. 8 to 3, and we're going to times that by 16x to the 4. Now, the question tells me that it's equal to this. Okay, it told me the coefficient of x to the 4 is this figure just here. So now we should be able to work out what the a value is. So multiply those guys together, we get 560 a to the 3. We know that that's equal to 15120. Divide by 560, and that gives me a to the 3 equals 27. So therefore, a must equal 3.